What's up, you guys? Here we are for another episode of the And Now We Know show. I'm your host, Johnny K. And of course, what else do I have? Can you guess what I have today? I have a special guest, of course. Oh my gosh. I mean, I hope you guys aren't getting tired of all my special guests. You shouldn't be. I have different type of people today. These are some very talented girls. These girls are doing so many things out here in the industry. And I definitely had to get them on here and introduce them to you guys because you guys like I know you guys love new artists that I bring so we're gonna get into the interview and we're gonna learn a lot about them today I'm gonna ask them some, a couple of questions and you know we're gonna find out who they are today stay tuned if you're just seeing me just now for the first time go back and watch all of my other episodes I have so many dope people everybody that I have on my show is hot nobody is you know like not that hot so you guys like, trust me on this. If you're just seeing me for the first time, you want to subscribe today and like this video. Let's go ahead and get into the interview. We're sitting with the Mako girls. These are some talented, lovely young ladies, you guys, and I can't wait to interview them. The first thing I want to ask you guys is, are you sisters or are you just friends? We are, are sisters. sisters. Love related sisters. Each of us are actually two years apart. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you guys already look alike, but I wasn't sure if you're just friends <laughs> that look alike or if you're right. Yeah. Uh, a strong gene. Strong. Yep. We get the twin, the triplet thing yeah. all the time. Wow. Yeah, I can see triplets. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> you guys all look alike. And you're beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, thank you. You as well. Of course. Thank you. Uh, where are you guys from? Where are you originally from? We're from Decatur, Georgia. You know, we represent Atlanta yeah. all the way and everything you do. Yep. Shout out to Decatur, Georgia, you guys. Yes, great hey, that's what's up. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was the moment that you guys first realized that you wanted to take singing professionally? Ooh. It started um, when we were like 10, 12, and 14. Yeah. We yeah. wanted to like perform live and entertain people but we got inspired by the group violence behavior they were the first group we seen doing it like the process from beginning to end yeah. how they got there and we really enjoyed watching that and wanting to do that ourselves yeah. we were already making up dances and everything but we was like we need to add singing so we and i level it up a bit and yeah. so i found our vocal coach um to this day actually mr james slaughter from um, marvel's enterprise shout and, out to them by the way they're yes. amazing oh, and we're working with them since, like 2013 yeah and we wrote our first single and we just kept going from there because we was doing tlc at every uh talent show oh, showcase yeah. it was like we need our own song so we wrote our our first single that summer after took working three took three months. months to write our first song but one song we're just starting out so yeah and then after that we just went and just kept going wow that's incredible shout out to mindless behavior you guys inspired this yes. wonderful group right here yes. that's incredible. <laughs> good. incredible i love mindless behavior i actually met them before <laughs> they were out yeah there. we met that was we they met them so that cool. day and we um we actually got to meet some of the members like outside, outside of the group like since they've been apart we met some of them just on side stuff, like yeah. telling them like, oh, you know, you guys inspired, like you inspired us. us. Wow, that's what's up. When, is it difficult for you to choose your beats because it is three of you guys. So like, is it sometimes difficult to come up with like, choose a final beat between the three of you? How do you choose what producers to work with? 
Yeah, that's that's a so the thing with uh, <laughs> the way how we use our beats really is just like we will post a uh, post on Twitter and be like, hey, we're looking for some new beats to um work with or like for a song, you know, just email them to us, and so we'll have them sent to us, and we just kind of pick based off of ones that we just personally like feel like all right i can hear this beat i want to write something yeah. to it i have a vision for it yeah and there is no like set genre beat of like that we choose yeah with. and we like variety too because we don't like to be stuck to just one solid sound the whole time yeah so like we definitely change it up all the time and work with many different producers it's never just one person yeah and we everybody all- has to like but, vote on it so yeah we're all trying to see okay everybody likes it we don't like it, okay? We we'll just move on. Scrap it. it, yeah. One person don't like it. It's like, okay, let's move on because we'll, we'll try sure. to milk it. Like, hey, look, it's good. Yeah. It can work. It can work. Because there yeah. are some songs that the beat um that we have actually, I didn't like the beat at first. I was just like, eh, I don't know about that. And we were like, come on, come on, we can do something too. And I'll be like, all right. And now I actually like grow to like the song. You guys eventually come to an agreement and all your music is fire. All their music is fire, you guys. You. Who's your favorite artist when you guys were growing up, when you were like kids? Who is your favorite artist? We know you like Mindless Behavior, but was there anybody else yeah. that you guys listened to on a daily basis? I would so, say, like, okay. I would oh, you say, go. Okay. Everybody had a different person. I would person. say, as a kid, when I was growing up, Avril Lavigne was one of my favorite artists. But <laughs> as I started to grow, I liked like Melanie Martinez, Doja Cat, and Halsey. I know growing up, like just as a, just like as just, a just as a kid, a kid yeah. yeah, just for a kid, I was always into Aaliyah. I was a really big fan, loved her music and everything. My mom used to play her music videos on the TV all the time, so I always used to sit there and watch it, try to recreate what she was doing. Was dance, moves. dance. Wow. yeah. So yeah. I was always obsessed with Aaliyah and still is to this day and for me i was a huge like michael jackson fan like one day it came down the stairs and i saw like thriller on the tv and i was like oh oh wow like i was like he is awesome and like i'll take my little sister yeah. like they they had she their thing with j- the and then me and my youngest um sibling we would like practice like we would dance to michael jackson bad that song we'll put like the band-aids around our fingers and stuff like that i'm a big fan of michael too that's what's up and Aaliyah. and i like yeah. um avril lavigne so you guys that's dope you guys all have like that's interesting because people want to know like who you were listening to as you were growing up like what made you yeah. like have like such a musical thing going on so like that's what's up that's really cool how did you guys come up with your group name mako girls is there like a meaning behind that or like how did you come up with that name well our mother came up yeah. with the name so yeah. we decided to put a meaning behind the name she so came up with just mako and then we yeah. were like all right mako's cool it sounds good we're all like yeah mako mako is nice because we didn't think of the name or we like, couldn't think of we, nothing we're yeah. terrible at like naming stuff so like when she said uh-huh. mako we're like that's great that's great and we just put the name like the meaning behind it so it's m for mimi a for nine k for tina and, and our, our last name will show up and then we added girl to oh. yeah. how do you do that like you guys all talk at the same time that is so dope I love yes. that. It's just his link thing, I would say. Because, yeah. like, even sometimes outside of, like, doing the makeup girl stuff as sisters, like, I know Mimi and I, like, we always, like, sync up on accident. Yeah. It'd be crazy. You need groups out there watching this. Like, you need to be unison like these <laughs> girls. They are on yeah. point. They are they are together and your performances are fire like you got if you're able to see them perform you guys this this group they're incredible performers um how did you learn how to dance we've been dancing ever since we were little but we haven't like professionally danced until like we started maple girls i would say even like slightly afterward like slightly as we were developing with um maple girl stuff because we would get like it's like easy choreography but i feel like really when we started learning to dance was about like 2014 2015 when we started really adding choreography to our stuff like mm-hmm. more high intensity um choreography to our stuff so it was really yeah. that and then i mean i guess like our training days we would dance yeah. and dance all the time so we would pick up moves uh better but like we're mm-hmm. much better at it now than we were before Stay tuned towards the end because you're going to get their Instagram and you can check out everything that I'm talking about right now. And yeah, their their performances are on point. Now I want to get into um, your guys' love life because it can be kind of complicated having relationships and also being entertainers. Um, is it, has it been kind of difficult for you guys to balance that out? Wait, why do you look at that in the relationship? We actually, I speak from a friendship yeah. perspective. Yeah, we that. actually have boyfriends and, yeah. um, our, like, initial, like, 
standard, I would say, is for them to be understanding because our schedule is so unpredictable. Yeah. Like, they will plan stuff and then we have to cancel because we have shows. So you have to be understanding and not want to get in the way of what we're trying to do. Yeah. You have to be there to support and, you know, you know, we're supporting what you yeah. do, but you got to support what we have going on. We'll sometimes call them and be like, hey, so we're going to need your help. We're going to need you to be in the video. We're going to need to help set up. We got yeah. this party going on. Can you help us out? And they're like, you know what? It's fine. We can help you out. Or they'll just try to like support. They'll also like watch and like everything on Instagram. And Reposting, be, in the, be at the shows, all of that. But that was our biggest thing was just so because our schedules are so unpredictable it's just that patience it's just being able to understand like if the guys are coming because you know we perform some guys try to holler you never know what happens but being secure in yourself to not take it no type of way like no when we're doing stuff and we're doing stuff with guys like for performances like dance breaks or whatever it's business this is music you have to understand like be very understanding because yeah. And it also it's has busy. goals because we, yeah. we don't want no lazy person. Yeah. No right. so we don't want a lazy person. We want somebody to have their own goals, their own dreams, rather it be small, big, whatever. whatever. Yeah. We want them to have a goal for them to achieve so they don't kind of feel like they're just sitting there waiting on us. And they can't bite off of what we've been working on because we've been working on this in yes. middle school. So <laughs> you got to have your own stuff going right i agree with that i agree with that 100 percent. you guys take some tips and advice from these girls they know how to get their guys to help them out and they don't it sounds like they don't even yeah. get in your way that they're supportive of you guys so that's what's up shout out to your yeah. boyfriends shout out you guys are doing a great job like right. you don't want to rush into something that is not for your best benefit, I would say. And you don't want like a love, like an Instagram love. You would want a love that's like genuine. We're like, we want the, you know, nine, that, what is it? 90s love, that's oh, yeah. what they call it. Yeah. Like, we want that, not the Instagram, just the picture. And you know, we got the Summer Walker stuff going on. Not the pictures and <laughs> just flex for Instagram. We want something that's real. You actually support what we're doing. We're actually supporting you. Like communication is there, it's like, like all that what they give and what you give has to be 50 50 nothing less because then like you're both not fully committed to something yeah yeah wow dm them and ask them any questions that you want <laughs> because they got it together they know what they're doing over here you already like feed off each other but like would you ever work with somebody else or another group oh yeah yes for sure. i know like group wise like another group to work with um definitely chloe and hallie yeah or even like black oh, like pink oh that's the k-pop group we love their music i know i do i'm yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. we like to cover their songs so like yeah. definitely them and chloe and hallie would be like groups that we would love to collaborate with yeah um doja cat we're always yeah. looking for people too who's like very outside the box like you wouldn't expect like somebody just reviewed our song and was like, hey, Gucci should be on y'all leverage premium. This was like, yeah, somebody completely hey, left hey, from hey. what you would expect from, from us. I think we're always up for that, like shock factor. That's what's up, yeah, Dream yeah, Collab yeah. in the works. Yeah, right. Speaking it into existence. <laughs> right, right. Um, what can we expect from you in the future? So you have like an album coming out soon. Um, anything else that we can expect from you guys in the future? We're super excited to connect with some more of our fans out there and just growing our audience more, creating more music, yeah, developing our music, and hopefully we'll be hitting the big stages as well. Yeah, and more, some award shows, yeah, more, yeah. more collabs. I could see you guys doing award shows, and you guys are on your way, definitely for sure, for sure. Can you uh, shout out your social media for the people that don't know already? Uh, can you let them know how they can find you, how they can stalk you? Yeah, yes, they so can. you guys can follow us on I love that she said they can stalk no, you. I just love that. <laughs> but you guys can check us out on our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok at, at Mako Girls. You can subscribe to us on YouTube at Official Mako Girls. And you can check out all of our information and get our merch on our website at www.makogirls.com. Mako Girls is spelled M-A-K-O-G-I-R-L-S. Not a just a K, not a C. Wow, that's, that's so beautiful. Y'all are so like unison. I just I can't get over that. That is beautiful. You guys, 
Thank you. Check these girls out. They Everything they just said is also in the description box below. Make sure you click on those links. Come back to this interview and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, everything they talked about today is in the description box below. They're on Apple, Spotify, everything. So just look up the Mango Girls. And that's it for this episode. I appreciate you guys. See you next time. I'm gonna ride till I die.